Today I'm going to be talking about the reason you should not overdevelop your legs if you are a man. And I know this right here is going to come with a lot of flack and a lot of backlash, but there's a reason for it. <clears throat> if you are not a professional or striving to be a professional bodybuilder, and if you are striving to be a professional bodybuilder, then you're on the wrong channel because this is a natural channel. And what I have to say doesn't apply to you. This only applies to the natural man. Now, if you are working out just to look good to the women, uh, whatever it may be that you are exercising for, uh, hopefully it's more or less than health than anything else. But the reason I say not to overdevelop your legs is because men were not meant to have extremely large legs. It's like I said in my last segment, you have to be mobile. That's the way you are designed, to be mobile. That's why it's so hard for men to really work out their legs. That's why it's really hard for a man to develop his legs. If you look at a lot of women, not all of them, but a great deal of them, a great deal of them, they have full legs real full legs, especially uh, white women. White women have real full legs, calves, and things of that nature. But you have a few men with decent legs, but <clears throat> it's not many. And the reason that is, is because like I said before, we are made to be mobile people. And once your legs get to be too big. Trust me, the inside of your legs are gonna start rubbing together the bigger your legs get. And that's not a good thing when you are a blue collar worker. You have to go to work for a living. You have to, uh, basically you don't spend your, your life in the gym as a professional bodybuilder. You work every day. And walking around with huge legs that's rubbing together never is going to be a good thing because I know one guy that developed his legs to the point that the uh, inner part of his legs are rubbing together so much until he's rubbing rashes between his legs. and and. That's, that's not a good thing. If you look at a lot of those pro bodybuilders, you'll see that their legs have no space in the center. And basically, it's like I said, the, the bodies that they're developing are, are not functional bodies. They are not functional bodies for everyday life. Uh, those guys are like uh, models. You know, uh, uh, models stay a certain size so their clothes will fit them a certain kind of way. Bodybuilders, they build them, their bodies up for display. That's, that's it. The body really that they have is really have no function. It's not a functioning body. It's, 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 it's too heavy to really do anything with. So my thing is, is that working out your legs is necessary because that's what carry. That's what carry the rest of your body. You know, but it's like I said, men are made to have upper body strength. And that's how come they tend to strive more or less for upper body. It's just not, you know, those are the show me muscles. It's, it's genetic. I mean, that's the part of the body that they use the most. Women have well-developed legs, most of them, simply because they have to carry babies. They're, they're, all of their strength is in their lower body. That's why they have those big full legs, hips, and stuff like that to carry babies. And, and, and once they have the baby, they have hips so that they can carry the baby on their sides easily. If you're a man if you, and if you got kids, 
Try to walk around with one of those little chubby babies of, that you got on your hips and see how difficult that is without having hips. So that lets you know that women are made the way they are made for a reason. Men are made the way they are made for a reason. And having, having uh, overdeveloped legs is not one of those things that a man is supposed to have. Upper body strength, upper body muscularity, yeah. Because that's where their power comes from, their upper bodies. So when you're working out your legs, shape them up, tone them up, build them up, but not to the point to where your legs start to rub together. And that's going to vary from, uh, from person to person, individual to individual. That's going to be up to you. That's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.